February um, uh, um, years ago was designated as Heart Health Month because uh, as Americans, um, and you know, we, we contribute worldwide, but as Americans, it's the number one killer, the number one disease that we have uh, in, in the United States that, that uh, can be in, in a lot of ways avoided. I take an aspirin every day. Um, and I took it, you know, I'm 50 years old, uh, you know, or 35. And, um, and my doctor recommended, uh, not only just because of my age, and, and I don't have a history of heart disease, but what the, the, some of the science behind it is, is that the, the, the elements of an aspirin uh, help thin the blood a little bit. It help, there's some nutrients that, that help uh, get rid of the bad things that are in the blood that cause heart disease. Um, you know, um, I'd have to get one of the cardiologists or Dr. Norwood over here or, or Dr. Eisenberg to tell you a little bit behind the science of it. But it's proven that an aspirin, and if it, you know, I think that uh, uh, when it, if some, uh, somebody comes into the ER and says they have chest pain, one of the first things that they give them is, is aspirin. They ask them, are you allergic to aspirin? No. And if they're not allergic to aspirin, they'll give them aspirin to help that blood to thin out to ho hopefully uh, open up any blockage or, or that's in the passageways is causing the, the heart attack or, or maybe uh, the first signs of stroke. So. Live with honor, fight with courage, and always be committed to excellence.